Hello everyone and welcome back to this online tutorial series about software and resources available to you through LaSalle University. Today I will be teaching you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint to make an effective presentation that will blow your online or in-person class away. As with some of the other videos in this series, I will occasionally take a break where you can pause the video and work with some of the information I've given you. Also, in the description you'll find timestamp links that will lead you to different sections of the video. So if you have a specific concern regarding PowerPoint, look in there, or if you'd like to review something, check and find the segment in the description. Now, as with most of the other videos in this series, the first thing you need to do to access PowerPoint is to open up a new tab in your favorite web browser. Once you've done this, you'll want to navigate to the address bar and go to office.com. Once here, you'll see in the top right that there is a sign-in button. Clicking the sign-in button will bring up a Microsoft Service sign-in box. You can use your LaSalle assigned email and password to sign into nearly any Microsoft service. If you watch the My LaSalle video in this series, you will already know how to sign into LaSalle services using your username and password. This is very similar, except instead of your username, you will use your email. Every freshman should be set up with a LaSalle assigned email, which is very similar to their username. If you're unsure how to access this, please contact the IT Help Desk, which you can find in the description. Once you've signed in, you'll be brought to the Microsoft Office online homepage. Many of the Microsoft Office apps can be used online in your web browser as web apps, but to get the most out of them, you'll need to install their clients and open them on your PC or Mac as an application. You can also download them on your phone as mobile apps. To figure out how to do this, please click the link in the description to go to the MyLaSalle video teaching you how to download LaSalle assigned mobile apps. While the online homepage is very useful, the first thing we'll want to do is install the Office Suite. To do this, go up to the top right and click Install Office. You'll want to click the Install 365 Apps button, as this is what LaSalle will use to get you access to the Microsoft Office Suite on your personal computer. Clicking on this button will install an application that your computer will use to install all of the applications available to you through the Microsoft Suite. Once it is installed, please navigate to your computer's file manager and locate the file. Once you have the installer downloaded, go ahead and locate the file and launch it. You may be prompted by your computer whether you'd allow it to make changes. Go ahead and click yes. It may take a few minutes to set up the installer and it may take a few minutes to download any necessary files. So you might want to pause the video here and wait for your downloads to finish before continuing. Once you've finished installing the Microsoft Suite, a box will pop up that simply says that you finished the installation. After closing it, you can find your applications by clicking on the Start Menu button and going to Recently Added. You can then pin these to the taskbar for future use. If you're on a Mac, however, you will not get the same box pop up, and instead you'll have to go to your Applications directory to find the individual applications. Once you've got all of your Microsoft apps where you want them, go ahead and open up PowerPoint. Whenever you do this, you'll be prompted with a box asking to confirm your account. Go ahead and sign in with your LaSalle email and password. If you'd like to stay signed into all of your apps, you'll need to allow LaSalle to manage your device. If you do not want this, you can uncheck it and click No, sign into this app only. Once you're signed in, you'll be prompted with this saying that Office is getting ready for you. What this is doing is pulling up the license and installing templates. Go ahead and accept the license and then you'll be free to use PowerPoint. Once you have full access to your PowerPoint application, you'll be able to make a blank presentation from scratch or create one using a template. For this presentation, we'll start by making one from scratch, and then later I'll show you how to use a template. 